A nod, yes and no. This is November 8, 1983. Joe Todd, an interview at Nora Lapsley. What? What? Miss Lapsley, where were you born? Chillicothe, Missouri. When's your birthday? I knew you'd get personal. August 10th, 1886. I'm old. Who is your father? Jordan Drake. Was he from Missouri? No, in Ohio. Who was your mother? Who was my mother? Margaret Carter. She was born in Indianapolis, close to Indianapolis, Indiana. How long did you live in Missouri? Until I was uh, nearly 16. We moved into Chillicothe and then to Shawnee, Oklahoma. What year did you move to Shawnee? 1902. May of 1902. What do you remember about your home in Missouri? Oh, yards and yards. I never had as happy a life. Tell me about it. Well, we lived four miles east of Chillicothe. I was born there on this 160-acre beautiful farm. And we went to a country school. What was the name of it? Bradford. That was exactly I believe five miles east of Chillicothe. And I finished, of course they didn't have grades there, you know, and I missed my fractions. So that kind of crippled me. Then I went into first year high in Shawnee and I didn't make it. Why? I had to take it over again. You know? Well, I entered in May. Dad didn't care. <laughs> what kind of chores did you do on the farm? Carrying wood in for the cook stove and the heating stove. Gathering the eggs. And what else? Oh, we girls once in a while would rate a trip four miles into Chillicothe to take some fruit and vegetables into the grocer, bring back a quarter's worth of sugar. <laughs> I was the one that, that drove. What did Chillicothe look like at that time? Well, it was built on a square. The band stand in the center. And uh, walk from corner to corner and side to side. And I don't know, it was just a nice little town. Did you say you drove the wagon to town to sell the fruits and vegetables? Uh, yeah, we grew everything. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Tell me about driving the wagon to town. Oh, it was a buggy. A buggy? Uh-huh. It was four miles. What kind of buggy was it? I don't know. It was one that Mother's Dad gave her. And a white horse was her driving horse, but we had an old swayback horse <laughs> team when we drove. 
I think later I got a better horse to drive to Sunday school three miles. There was a church three miles north and one three miles south. It was well populated. Which church did you go to? Methodist. Methodist. Mm -hmm. Did you know your grandfather? No. I didn't know any of my grandparents. And he was a minister, born in Zanesville, Ohio. I mean, he's buried there now. Mm -hmm. In one of those, inside of one of those little iron fences, yeah. you know, the family. Was your father in the Civil War? No. He oh. was a little too old. He and mother married just after the war ended. And I think dad was 29. Did they ever talk about the Civil War? Well, I, uh, yes. Mother said that, uh, what was his name? Anyway, he came into her father's yard. Her father owned a whole section of land. Mm -hmm. And uh, these troops came into the yard and helped themselves, whatever they wanted, for the horses and themselves. Mother thought it was pretty bad. And Joe, I went south. I married Mr. Lapsley and I went south. And the postmaster down there was from the north, and uh, Mr. Hobbs. So we were at a public gathering one day, and of course I was there. And they said something about the north and south joining hands. I guess we gave them a pretty bad whipping, didn't we? <laughs> So this old lady back of me said, if I had my way, I wouldn't let a Yankee come across <laughs> that Mason-Dixon line. I said, that means me. I mean you too. <laughs> was, this in, was this in Shawnee? Selma, Alabama. Selma, Alabama? Yeah. <laughs> right in a nest of Southerners. Where was it that you said that the soldiers helped themselves to the horses? Was that in Alabama? No, I didn't. I rode a horse one night in Alabama, but in Shawnee we had our own stable, yeah. farm, pastures mm -hmm. with sheep yeah. and cattle. Do you remember the Spanish-American War? Oh, yeah. 1898. Oh, yeah. I remember when that broke out. Tell me about that. Well, we were there on the farm, and one of the uh, Chillicothe girls, whose aunt lived across the road from us, came out to see her auntie, and she told us that... Uh, Spanish-American War had broken out. Well, Mr. Lapsley, my husband, enlisted. He lied about his age. And he went to um, Florida and helped build that Pebble Beach. And he got too hot and took typhoid fever and was in bed an incredible length of time. So that's what I remember about the Spanish American, but I didn't know him then. I was just, uh, wait a minute, that was 98 and I was born 86. I was just 12. Yeah. Did you ever meet any rough riders that went with Teddy Roosevelt? No, no. I always liked old Teddy. And Alice. Mm -hmm. Did you ever meet Teddy? 
Who? Did you ever meet Teddy? Oh, no, no. Uh, uh. What do you think of him? Oh, he was a fighter. I I didn't object to him. Mm -hmm. There was one man that I couldn't get ready for, and that was Roosevelt. He did his best, but it didn't. I don't know. You mean Franklin? Mm-hmm. I think. Have you heard any other stories from the Spanish-American War? I'm afraid I don't. Mm-hmm. What, what was your husband's name? Do you remember much about history? Yes, ma'am. Do you remember the Southern history? Mm-hmm. you remember General Pettus? I've, Edmund Winston Pettus. I've heard the name. Well, that was his mother's uncle, Mr. Lapsey's great uncle. Mm -hmm. And he was named for him. What was your husband's first name then? Winston. Winston. How come you came to Shawnee? Well, the folks were there. Mr. Lapsley came out from Selma. He and his uh, uh, chum, after Mr. Lapsley's mother passed away and they settled up the estate, he had little money and Dick Keeble had some. And movies were in though then. So they came out to Shawnee and put in this movie house. And I played the piano and he fell in love with me and married me. What was your favorite movie to play for? I used to sit on the piano, promise myself if ever I got through with that, I'd never look at another one. And I just about lived up to it. Oh, they had series, you know, and I've even forgotten them. Did you play in the opera house? Yeah, with, for the big theaters. What was the name of the theater? The opera house? Academy of Music in Selma, Alabama. And then I played in theaters over the country in Shawnee. Don't you know for Mr. Lapsley? Did you play the piano in the movie house in Shawnee? Play the movie to effect. No, did you play for the movies in Shawnee? Oh, yeah. What was the name of the movie house? One I named, The well, Grand. Why did you name it The Grand? Because I was in St. Louis with my brother and played it, The Grand, and liked it. And they were just putting this one in. And I told Mr. Lapsley, I wish they'd call it the Grand. He said, that's a good name. What did the movie house look like on the inside? Oh, just straight with seats, you know, like they are today. Have a balcony? Uh, for the movie camera. But people, did, people didn't sit in the balcony? Oh, and some of them, not his. Yeah. okay. It was just a little storeroom, you know, in the business district. Mm -hmm. How did you travel to Shawnee? Katie. The Katie? Uh-huh. Did you, did you hire a train car? To move everything? Oh, yeah. How long did it take to get to Shawnee from Alabama? We left Chillicothe 
75 miles to Kansas City, and it was all night until the next evening. You might say a day and night, a little bit over. What was your first impression of Shawnee? That was my impression. Impression. Yeah. He said, I can't imitate him, but I love to hear him talk. He said, Hon, why don't they cook hot bread out here? <laughs> he said he hadn't tasted any hot bread. <laughs> and they had it three meals a day. Did you make hot bread for him? I don't remember. I don't think I was a very good biscuit maker. <laughs> what did downtown Shawnee look like? Oh, just beautiful countryside, I thought. Pretty. Were the streets paved? Not when we first went there. But uh, Dad, of course, that's included in your property, you know, your taxes. And it's, it's well paved now. And a nice little town. It was 9,000 when we moved there. And I think it's more like 60 now. Mm -hmm. hmm. When did they start St. Gregory's College in Shawnee? A Baptist college. Well, yeah, there's a Baptist college and the Catholic college, St. Gregory's. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. It seems to me that Baptist college, the Catholic college is farther out. Seems to me they've been there. I believe that Catholic school has been there since before I married. Mm -hmm. When did you get married? 1909. So your father came to Shawnee to put a movie house in? No, no, my husband. Your husband. From the south. Okay. Dad wanted a farm, and he bought two and lost both of them. There were a lot of crooks, and this happened to be a banker in the church that didn't give him a statement on his standing. Mm -hmm. hmm. um. Mother didn't want him to uh, buy the farm, said she'd had enough of it, mm -hmm. but he did. So your whole family moved to Shawnee in 1902? No, just dad and a brother and three of us girls. Mm -hmm. Do you remember Statehood Day in Shawnee? Who? What? S Statehood Day when Oklahoma became a state, 1907. Yes. Tell me about that day. Well, it wasn't anything, only bell ringing and a lot of going on. Did you help celebrate? No, uh -uh. they did that in Oklahoma City. Old women standing up riding mules or horses. No, I was two. I was just 15. Mm -hmm. did, how many saloons did they have in Shawnee? Oh, my Lord. I know of only one that I can swear to, and that was right next door to the theater Mr. Lapsley put in. At my dad. <laughs> He and Mother never allowed any liquor in the house. He said, Nora, I think you're 
foolish to encourage that young boy. I said, I saw him go in the saloon. <laughs> and sure enough, that's what broke us up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He just loved his liquor. I've never seen him in the ditch, you know, just a drunk. But he had his liquor with him all the time. Mm -hmm. And it finally separated us after 15 years. But I had a lot of fun down there. He, he loved music. And when I played in the Academy of Music, I played for Billy Burke, you remember her. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of good actors and actresses, and I get my two complimentary tickets. Mr. Lapsy would never sit with me. There's no I'll go up in the balcony with the boys. Hmm. <laughs> Did you have sheet music that you played for the movies or? Did, did, I, did I what? Did you have sheet music you played by with the movies? Well, the, uh, we got an Irish film and they sent their music score, suitable, you know, those Irish jigs, dances and all. That was a big help, but no other company that I know sent a piano score. How did you know what to play then? Well, if they were having a dance, you wouldn't play a funeral dirge. You just kind of have to educate yourself. And... If you need something lively, you need it. So you had all the music memorized then? Oh, stacked about six inches high. When, when they had a Buster Brown show in Selma, well, I'd go over to Montgomery 50 miles and get new music. They didn't publish music then like they do now. I don't think there are as many writers. Mm -hmm. But I had a stack of music and Barbara's mother played in the movies yeah. too, you know. And Barbara says she still has her mother's music about it that high. Bill, oh, will this be published in a... No, it's going to go in the museum. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. Can you tell me about the Chautauqua? Oh, the Chautauqua. Well, it was back of us in the fairgrounds. And they had low benches, no backs on them. And we had good programs, a quartet. And everybody turned out to the Chautauquas. They had, oh, they had lovely talent. And there were about six from our family attended. And they had different ministers, of course. We were, we had our favorites. Mm -hmm. Who was your favorite? What? Who was your favorite? I can't remember them now. That was back in 1902 and three. Okay. Was this Chautauqua and Shawnee? Yeah. Uh-huh. Who was in charge of that? 
Oh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I imagine the one who ran the big theater there. I don't know. Who were some of your favorite performers at the Chautauqua? I can't even remember that. Mm -hmm. But they had a quartet. And I don't know, they had, uh, uh, oh, what do you call them, revival mm -hmm. meetings. And the Oliver brothers were two of the, one was a singer and the other the minister. And we had to go down to the uh, auditorium and I always helped with the choir work. Oh, I think there must have been 50 or 75 of us in the choir. And really, those were enjoyable times. Mm -hmm. But they don't have that now so much. I think Billy Graham has a... He's the one that has the big stock. Was I like yeah. Billy Graham. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me about the Indians and Shawnee? Oh, my <laughs> they, uh, There was a reservation out on Kickapoo. And on Saturday night, they'd come into town, get drunk, <laughs> and hoop and holler going out on Kickapoo. And one night, we had band concerts, and uh, Mr. Reeser was one of our nice attorneys there, and this drunken Indian ran in to me, and he took him to the police station and said, we can't allow that. So, mm -hmm. I don't know whether they straightened up or not, but uh, they didn't bother anybody, and they didn't work in town like a servant, you know. And they lived out on this uh, reservation, mm -hmm. cooked outside. They used to put their meats up in the trees to ripen. I guess they ate almost decayed food. At one day we were downtown, all of us, and we were next to the prominent corner of Broadway and Main. <laughs> Mother said, I wonder where your father went. I said, he's right there, Mother. She looked around, was this old Indian about a hundred years old, wrapped up in a blanket, sitting down <laughs> under the bank window. <laughs> Did you get to know any of the Indians? No. Mm -hmm. Uh uh. Uh uh. How long did you live in Shawnee? Until we moved there in two, and Mr. Lapsy and I married in nine, seven years. Mm -hmm. Then I came back regularly every year on a visit. Where'd you move from Shawnee? From Shawnee to Selma, Alabama. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who were some of the prominent people in Shawnee that you knew? George McKinnis was one of the leaders. What was he like? Just a fine fellow. Prominent, I mean popular. And uh, George McKinnis and Harry Mead was another one. What kind of work did he do? Well, now you've got me there, but they were prominent big. And then there was a Mr. Roebuck, a, a hardware man. Oh, he was so good looking. 
Anybody would love to know him. <laughs> and then we had the, the uh, owner of the Mammoth Department Store, Mr. Dollinger. Mm -hmm. And uh, they had some pretty nice people in yeah. Shawnee. Mm -hmm. When you first moved there, what kind of house did you live in? What kind of what? What kind of house did you live in? Oh, Mother bought a brand new one. It was just finished. Four bedrooms upstairs, and one bedroom down, and five rooms downstairs, and a nice, uh, it was out in Park Edition, north end of town. It still stands there, 192. How old would that make it? About 81 years. See there? Mm -hmm. And it looks just like the day we moved in. What was the address? 608 North Park Street. How long did you live in Alabama? Fifteen years. Mm -hmm. How come you moved to Alabama? I married Mr. Lapsley. I oh, went he, to he, his hometown. Okay. How did you meet Mr. Lapsley? I told you he put in a picture okay. show in Shawnee. Okay, you did. Can you describe Selma? No, I was turned around there. It was just uh, east and west and north and south street. Mm -hmm. Just the regular, you know. Have any trouble with the blacks when you move there? What? What? Have any trouble with the blacks when you first moved to Selma? You know, if a colored boy gets out of line with a white girl, <laughs> it goes pretty hard with him. And when I was down there one time visiting, this colored boy entered Dr. Rupp. He was my dentist. Entered his home and took advantage of her and her young baby. Boy, howdy. They were after him. Hmm. How did they control the blacks? They don't work with them. They know if they, if they uh, disobey one of the rules toward the white women, they must respect them. And sometimes you never see the nigger again. Mm -hmm. They make it hard on them. But it's different down there now, Joe. How's it different? Well, the niggers take more authority. Mm -hmm. hmm. When you left Selma, where did you go? I came back to Oklahoma. I divorced Mr. Lapsley. And where did you move to? Back home. To Shawnee? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. How had Shawnee changed? How much why? How had Shawnee changed? Oh, it had grown mm -hmm. quite a bit. What year did you move back? Twenty-two or three. Mm -hmm. Did you do any work for the war effort in World War One? No. Uh, 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 uh. Were there many flappers in Shawnee in the twenties? <laughs> oh, there were a lot of young people. We had the name of having the best-looking young bunch. 
and we really had good time. What would you do for recreation? What was one? What did you do for recreation in the oh, twenties? Oh, we had a mansion park, and uh, it was a kind of a rural park. I mean, uh, uh, rural furniture, and they built an interurban line out there. And we just get on and pay a dime to go out to the park. You said there wasn't a racetrack? Oh, no, not out there. Yeah. In Shawnee, yes, yeah. but not out at the park. What kind of racetrack did they have in Shawnee? What kind of a racetrack? What you say they Oh, good. Yeah. Uh -huh. Horses? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, thank you. You're but, uh, I don't know. You know, uh, uh, Joe, so many people came from different states to Oklahoma, and the first question you'd ask a stranger, where are you from? Oh, I'm from Michigan. How come so many people came to Oklahoma? Well, just prospecting. Mm -hmm. Oil. Mm -hmm. Did you bob your hair in the 20s? Did I? This morning I had it fixed. No. Did you bob your hair in the 1920s? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was in uh, Arkansas, I believe, when I first bobbed my hair years ago. Did would you describe what a flapper looks like? Oh, I don't know. They. Uh, they wore funny looking shoes and it was their mannerisms. I never associated much with the flappers. I wasn't one. What kind of mannerisms did they have? Oh, just kind of wild. Mm -hmm. Something to embarrass older people. How did the depression of the 1930s affect you and your family? Well, the prices were terrible, Joe, terrible. I paid 750 for my hose. Hmm. For one thing, Uh, did you raise your food during the Depression? Did you work on the farm? Oh, no. No, I was, uh, I don't know where I was in 1930. I came to Oklahoma City in 41, mm -hmm. I know that, and lived with my sister, who lived right out here hmm. at that time, but they moved into Edmond in Oklahoma City. At that time, they lived in Bethany. Why? At that time, they lived in Bethany. Uh, they, her children, she had five children, and they were uh, all born out here. Yeah. They're in different parts yeah. of the country right. now. Do you remember the Depression of 1907? Hardly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it would make a very big impression with uh, how old was I? I was 21 when I, mm -hmm. well, it was about the time I met Mr. Lapsley. Yeah. But he gave me a diamond brooch for Christmas. Hmm. I don't think he thought much about yeah. the Depression. I guess the 
picture show yeah. was making some money. Yeah. Tell me more about the Depression of the 1930s. I don't know whether I can separate the depressions or not, but the prices go up, I know that. And I do remember so well, I was in Columbus, Georgia, during that 19, oh, what did I say? Seven. I wasn't married then and down there. Anyway, when I paid seven fifty for my hose, I was in Columbus, Georgia. Mr. Lapsey and I lived there. We lived in Columbus, Georgia. We lived in Selma, Alabama. And I guess so just those two towns down there. And we lived in Montgomery. And I'll tell you, Mr. Lapsley got so bad with his liquor, I just had to get out. Mm -hmm. I don't like the smell of it anyway. Mm -hmm. Tell me about, uh, were there any big dust storms in Shawnee in the 30s? Storms? D yeah, dust storms. I don't remember any. Hmm. I wasn't there. Oh, okay. Uh, I left there in 21 or 2. Where'd you go? Back to Shawnee in Oklahoma City. Mm -hmm. When'd you move to Oklahoma City? 41. How come you moved here? Well, it was for... Uh, uh, I wanted theater work and they didn't have it in Shawnee, and I played on East Main Street here at the Olympic Theater, and that was when they had uh, uh, male singers for, with um, slides, you know, and Bert Sutton was the one that sang at the Olympic. I accompanied him. Hmm. I'd play three movie reels and then rest one. And Bert would have a solo every hour. And then the Empress was right across the street. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I think one on West Main and Broadway, and then of course, the Overholzer Theater was on Grand. What was the Overholzer Theater like on the inside? Just a theater. What about the Olympic? No, that was a movie house. That was a movie house. Uh-huh. Okay. The uh, theater had vaudeville shows mm -hmm. back on Grand Avenue mm -hmm. and the Olympic was on Main Street. Yeah. What about the Criterion? Now uh, where was that? That was downtown. Yeah, so was the Olympic yeah. on Main Street. Mm -hmm. Was the Criterion back on Grand or Main? I don't remember. Uh, I think it is on. I'm not sure. I'm not either. Mm -hmm. What did you do during World War II? Me. What year was it? Forty-one through forty-five, when you were fighting the Germans and Japanese. Well, 41 to 45, where was I? I don't remember, Joe. Mm -hmm. See, I'm married for a, a while there, and the only work I did was theater work when I was married to Mr. Lapsley and after. 
So I didn't do much besides yeah. piano. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite childhood memory? Song? What? Your favorite? Childhood. I don't know, we had so many. We had uh, this 160 acre farm with a woods pasture and ponds. We had one, two, two ponds on the place. And uh, we had a boat on the pond in the woods. Now I was just a young thing then about three years old. And then we moved into Chillicothe when I was about 10 or 11, and to Shawnee when I was 14 or 15. What kind of games did you play as a child? Oh, my Lord, ring around the rosy and Hide and seek and just, you know, those childish, silly games. Mm -hmm. When did you first begin courting? <laughs> well, uh, you know, we had our ideas. We'd go three miles to uh, revivals, and there'd be some of the younger people from nice families. And oh, I remember one night I could hardly stand it. I just fell so in love with Mort Gilbert. <laughs> he would want wipe his foot on me, don't you know? <laughs> but I didn't marry anybody in that country church. Mr. Lapsley was the one I married. Mm -hmm. And he was, and listen, Mr. Lapsley and I were married by a minister who was from Alabama. And he didn't know him until, he didn't know him then, just the name. W.P. Nielsen was the minister here of the Southern Presbyterian Church. So we were married at 12th and Harvey in 1909. You know where it is now, where Baba goes to church, mm -hmm. 50th and May. We were married in that church, Southern, Southern Presbyterian. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And W.P. Nielsen said, well, this name is Lapsley. Do you have any relatives in Alabama? <laughs> he said, that's where I'm from. <laughs> and his wife had attended uh, of the State University, and he had, and all we had was uh, his theater singer to witness our wedding with his dog. And Jack said he cried to see us get married, and tears rolled right down in his dog's eye. <laughs> How long did you play the piano for the theaters? Until 17, not 8. How come you quit in 17? Oh, I don't know. You get tired of anything in a yeah. certain length of time. Mm -hmm. Well, Mrs. Lastly, I think we have a good interview. Well... You know, at 
I pin the rose on my shelf. I think it's remarkable that I remember these things at 90, what is it, 93. It is. Mm. Barbara yeah. does. Yeah, thank you. Well, I, I, what good did this do? You're gonna play it? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> you ever heard, ever hear yourself on tape? You say, have you ever heard yourself on tape? No. You uh, want to uh, hear yourself? Yeah. Is it going now? No, not yet. <laughs> 